motor neuron disease is an ongoing challenge that pushes you to learn to go every day with a new obstacle that you have to solve. The first time that I noticed that something was unusual was when I was training for one of the marathons that I was running. I started feeling cramps on my right arm as I was running. And then it repeated a few days later um, and it took longer to, to loosen the, the cramp. So I started getting concerned and I went checking with my physiotherapist. Everybody presents differently. Their symptoms will vary from person to person. For some people it can be weakness in their feet, some people it can be weakness in their hands. When they go to get the investigations done to find out what's been happening, then they could go to various different departments um, depending on where they are sent. So most of those investigations that are done to find out if it's something else will come back clear. In order to get to the diagnosis of motor neuron disease, it is a process of elimination of outruling every other condition that it may be. And then when they get to see the neurologist, then they'll look at all the investigation reports that are done and then also do a physical exam and then that's how they come to the diagnosis. I cannot write anymore. I cannot read a book anymore on an old-fashioned way of holding a book because I get, the book is too heavy. The pages are too complicated to pass. Clearly, I cannot run anymore. I cannot cycle. I push myself to still go for a walk every day. They're getting shorter, but that is the one part that I still enjoy. The support that I found the most helpful is people. People are amazing. And doesn't matter who. You take everything for granted every day. Even the good manners of any person that you meet, your partner, your kids, your relatives, your colleagues, people on the street. When you're facing some, something as ugly as this, you realize that a kind word is everything. There has been an outpour of support from people that I don't even know. And then you have the other support from people, people like the IMNDA. They look after you, they, they worry about you, they become your friends. The IMNDA put us in contact with our regional nurse, Louise. Louise came to our house and she sat for three hours and talked to us with no nonsense, with an open heart. And explaining us what was ahead. The most important part was that she was able to talk when my youngest son gave him the information that he needed as an 11 year old in such a way that by the time that she left he was all smiles and saying well could be worse. From that first day on, the, the IMNDA, they are the guardian angel. 